Our verse for today comes from the beginning of Jonah. It's the theme text for our worship service as well, and that's Jonah chapter 1, verse 3. But Jonah set out to flee to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. He went down to Joppa and found a ship going to Tarshish. So he paid his fare and went on board to go with them to Tarshish, away from the presence of the Lord. Does that strike you in any particular way when you hear that? Um, It should. And the way it should strike us is, wait a minute. I thought I'm supposed to go toward the presence of the Lord. I want to be closer to God. Isn't that why we watch videos like this? That's why we produce videos like this. We want to help people get closer to God and to get closer to the Lord. And here's someone, Jonah, who the word of the Lord comes to with a very clear, specific instruction and basically says, hey, I want you to go east. And Jonah says, no way, I'm going west and looks to get on a ship going in the exact opposite direction of where God wants him to go. I wonder if in your life you ever had a sense, it may not have been as utterly clear as Jonah received from God, but have you ever had a sense, and it could have been a larger decision, like where, what job to take or where to move to or what college to attend, or it could be a very small decision about what you were doing in your particular day. But have you ever had a sense that God wanted you to do something and you just didn't want to do it. You know, can you think of a time when you were a child and your parents said to you, I want you to do this, and you know that part of you inside, you just did not want to do what your parent was telling you. Clean your room. That's the last thing I want to do. I don't want to do that. Well, that's kind of how I picture Jonah. Jonah's kind of like a recalcitrant child that God says, Hey, you're my guy. Go do this. And he says, "Uh uh-uh, no way. And as we'll see in the book of Jonah, it's never a good thing to just blatantly disobey when God tells you to do something. And you know what God is telling you to do. And Jonah is going to try to run away from God. And you and I both know how well that's going to go. There is nowhere we can flee from God's presence as You'll hear in our worship service today when Jill reads from Psalm 139. And in that magnificent psalm that also talks about uh, going to the farthest limits of the sea, even there your right hand shall lead me and shall hold me fast. You cannot run away from God. Whatever it is you're facing in your life today, whatever it is that's stressing you out, whatever there is that is causing you to worry, There is no way you can run away from God in the midst of it. How much better to turn to God and to say, Lord, I'm a little scared, I'm nervous, I'm uncertain, I'm unsure, I need your help, but I need your presence with me. And I think that's part of why the 23rd Psalm is so powerful for so many of us, right? It's because when we're going through the valley of the shadow of death or the darkest valley, that the Lord promises to be with us. And if we have the Lord's presence with us, we can face anything. But if like Jonah, we flee from the Lord's presence, it's probably not gonna go well. And you know what? You're not gonna get away anyway.